Sometimes when you're digitizing, you want to change the transparency of a layer and use hatch fills. Now we showed earlier how to do the transparency, but I'll show it again. So you see here when I'm digitizing, I want to be able to see the features through the layer and it most of the time gives you a solid fill. And so you adjust the color by left clicking on the patch in the table of contents and then going to the symbology panel and making sure you have this paintbrush activated. So if the paintbrush is activated, you have a patch and you can left click on this patch and you can select the color that you want and apply it. But you also then can select the transparency. And so if I left click again on this little triangle and show the color patches, I can left click on color properties and in this transparency slider, change the transparency. So I can say OK and left click on apply. And then I have a transparent layer that I can see through. So while I'm digitizing, I can see the outlines. Now you might want to monkey with this transparency if you get a really dark color. You typically have to make it more transparent and a light color less transparent. So you can see through, but also know that the layer is there. Uh, another thing we often want to do, and I'll do this with the buildings, is to add a hash symbol or a s other symbol that uh, doesn't have a color, but rather a, a uh, set of lines that show the outline. And so I do that by clicking on this structure tool, this uh, wrench off to the side and adding a symbol layer and I add a fill layer. So I apply that and now if I go back to the stack here it shows that there's a fill layer on top of my other fill layer and I can make that then a hatched fill. And if I look at that hatched fill there are lots of options here. I can change the angle and the separation of the fill. I like this as is, so I'll just say apply and I see I get that hatched fill. Now if I don't like the color underneath, I can't see that very well, I can do the adjustments to that color underneath. For example, I can pick a different color and apply it so it shows up, or I can show no color at all and apply it so it shows up. And I can also change the color of the hatch fill here. So if I wanted to make it, let's say, yellow, I can do that and apply it and it shows up. So I can add hatch fills and transparent fills. And if I have multiple layers that I'm editing, especially when I'm working with topology, this is quite useful to keep track of what is what.